Ever wondered about the man who claimed to possess the secret of eternal youth? Picture a figure from history so enigmatic, his life reads like fiction. This is the Count of Saint-Germain, a man shrouded in deep mystery. Rumors of his immortality buzzed through the courts of Europe. He was known as an adventurer, a charlatan, a scholar, and perhaps even a spy. His story is a captivating blend of intrigue, suspense, and speculation. Delve into the fascinating life of this enigmatic figure, the Count of Saint-Germain. Born in an era of secrecy, the Count's early life remains largely unknown. We do, however, have scattered fragments of information and various theories that piece together a fascinating mosaic of his early years. One such theory, arguably the most intriguing, proposes that the Count was the son of a Transylvanian prince. The theory suggests that he was born into nobility, which could explain his refined manners, his impressive education, and his unique insight into the lives of the highborn. Speaking of education, the Count was nothing short of a polymath. His intellectual prowess was evident in his linguistic abilities. The Count was said to be fluent in several languages, including French, German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Russian, and English. His linguistic prowess was not just a testament to his intelligence but also a key that unlocked many doors in his travels. And oh did the Count travel, his early wanderings took him far and wide across the landscapes of Europe. He was a familiar face in the courts of England, France and Russia, rubbing shoulders with royalty and the elite. His travels weren't just for pleasure though, they were also a means of education, of gaining knowledge, and of understanding the world around him. The Count's early life was indeed shrouded in mystery, but within that mystery lies a captivating narrative. A narrative of a young man born into a world of secrets who grew up to be an intellectual powerhouse, a linguist, a traveler. His early life was a reflection of his later years, mysterious, intriguing, and always on the move. But it was not just his travels or his linguistic prowess that set him apart. The Count's early life, as elusive as it remains, was characterized by his curiosity, his thirst for knowledge, and his ability to adapt. These traits would later become the pillars of his many exploits. The Count's early life, shrouded in mystery, laid the groundwork for his future exploits. His early years were not just a prelude to his later adventures, but the very foundation upon which his extraordinary life was built. For the Count of Saint-Germain, the mystery began at birth, and it only deepened with time. A man of many talents, the Count was a true Renaissance man. Our enigmatic Count of Saint-Germain was not just a nobleman of mystery, but a figure of immense talent and intellect. His abilities stretched across a vast spectrum, making him a captivating character of his time. Let's delve into the Count's musical abilities first. He was a virtuoso on the violin, and a skilled composer whose pieces were lauded for their complexity and emotional depth. Beyond that, he possessed a beautiful singing voice said to rival the professional opera singers of his time. Moving on to his knowledge of the sciences, the Count was a man ahead of his time. His understanding of physics, chemistry and biology was profound and he often held court with leading scientists of the day, engaging in discussions that would leave many of his contemporaries baffled. But perhaps the most fascinating of all his talents were his reputed alchemical skills. Tales abound of the Count's ability to transform lead into gold and even to concoct an elixir of life. While these stories have never been substantiated, they added an aura of magic and mystery around the Count that only fueled his legend. And let's not forget his sparkling wit. The Count was known for his sharp humor and quick retorts, a trait that endeared him to many. Among the notable acquaintances who enjoyed his company was the philosopher Voltaire, who famously referred to him as, the man who knows everything and who never dies. In addition to all this, the Count was fluent in multiple languages, a skilled diplomat and an accomplished painter. He also had an uncanny ability to predict the future, at least according to the rumors of the time. The Count's talents and charisma charmed the courts of Europe, but his true intentions remained hidden. His diverse skills and knowledge made him a figure of fascination, yet also of suspicion. Was he merely a man of many talents? Or was there something more to the Count of Saint-Germain? As we continue to explore his story, we'll try to unravel the enigma that is the Count. From Russia to France the Count's exploits read like a thrilling adventure novel. This man of mystery was not just content with mastering the arts and sciences, he wanted to experience life in all its glorious diversity. In the French court, the Count was a figure of fascination. His wit, charm and vast knowledge mesmerized the aristocracy. He was known to hobnob with the high and mighty, including the likes of Louis XV and Madame de Pompadour. The Count was a court favorite, 
his tales of faraway lands and ancient cultures captivating the imaginations of the French elite. But the Count was not merely a raconteur, he was an active participant in the world of Freemasonry, a fraternity steeped in symbolism and ancient rituals. His influence in this secret society was profound and he was known to have initiated Masonic lodges throughout Europe. His involvement in Freemasonry further shrouded his life in mystery and intrigue. The Count's thirst for knowledge and adventure also led him to India. He claimed to have studied with Brahmins the highest caste in Hindu society. His tales from India were filled with stories of yogis and mystics, of ancient rituals and spiritual enlightenment. These experiences added another layer to his enigmatic persona. Rumors also abound about his involvement in espionage. Some believe the Count used his charm and diplomatic skills to gather intelligence for various European powers. His travels across Europe and Asia, his connections with influential figures and his knack for being in pivotal places at crucial times, lent credence to these rumors. However, like so much of his life, the truth remains elusive. And so, the Count of Saint-Germain, a man of many talents and many faces, continued his exploits across the globe. His life was a constant adventure, a journey fueled by curiosity and a desire to seek out the unknown. The Count's adventurous spirit took him across continents, always leaving a trail of intrigue in his wake. Even in death, the Count of Saint-Germain remained a man of mystery. As our story unfolds it's clear that the line between fact and fiction becomes increasingly blurred when it comes to the Count's final days. The official records state that the Count died in the year 1784. Yet, there are no death certificates, no burial records, only a vague reference of his passing noted by his friend, Prince Charles of Hesse Castle. A man of such stature and influence surely would have left more of a trace, wouldn't you think? Now let's delve into the realm of rumors, whispers that have outlived the Count, and continue to fuel his enigmatic persona. Stories began to circulate that the Count was spotted in numerous places across Europe, long after his supposed death. From the court of Louis XVIII in the early 1800s, to an alleged appearance at a Masonic convention in Paris in the mid-19th century. The most intriguing of all these tales, however, is the story of a man named Jacques Saint-Germain, who surfaced in New Orleans in the early 20th century. This man, bearing a striking resemblance to our Count, was known for his eccentricities, his knowledge of history, and his peculiar diet. When cornered by authorities about his unusual behavior, Jacques vanished, never to be seen again. These sightings, these stories, they could all be mere coincidences, the product of overactive imaginations. Yet they persist, keeping alive the legend of the immortal Count of Saint-Germain. So, what are we to make of all this? Is it possible that the Count really did discover the secret to eternal life? Or was his death just another elaborate ruse, a final act in the grand play of his life? Whether the Count truly discovered the secret of eternal life, or whether his death was just another ruse, remains a mystery to this day. In the end, perhaps the Count's greatest trick was ensuring that we would continue to speak his name, centuries after his time. The Count of Saint-Germain left behind a legacy as captivating as his life, an enigma wrapped in mystery, the Count's influence extended far beyond his lifetime, permeating various facets of history, arts and sciences. Known for his incredible talents he was not just a master of music and painting but also a reputed alchemist. His contributions to these fields were significant, inspiring a myriad of artists, musicians and scientists who came after him. However, it is the myths and legends surrounding the Count that truly immortalize him. Stories of his immortality, his ability to appear and disappear at will, his vast wealth with no known source, all contribute to his enduring allure. These tales passed down through generations have only served to increase the fascination with the Count, turning him into a near mythical figure. And then, there's his indelible imprint on pop culture. The Count of Saint-Germain is a recurring character in literature, movies and even video games, often portrayed as a charismatic, mysterious figure, much like he was in real life. His enigmatic personality and his intriguing life story continue to inspire, enthrall and captivate audiences worldwide. The Count of Saint-Germain, a man of mystery, a man of many talents and a man whose legacy continues to captivate us. His story, his legend, his legacy is a testament to the power of mystery and intrigue that transcends time and culture.